Sheriffs in Bavaria, Captain Amy M. Becker. Good afternoon, Colonel Sines. Thank you for your kind words. Mrs. Sines, Sergeant Major Dillingham, Mrs. Eight, Colonel Loveless, Lieutenant Colonel Vest, Sergeant Major Jefferson, fellow commanders, Mayors Noblock and Shirtle, Lieutenant Colonel Garline, my partners from Volsbach, family and friends, thank you for your attendance today. There's no question that the last year and a half has been the most challenging yet rewarding time of my life. As the garrison worked through challenges of sequestration and furlough, our soldiers learned many new acronyms like QSP, RCP, OSB, and ESERB as a result of a reducing army. The consequences have been devastating to some as they no longer wear this uniform and stressful to the rest as we wonder if we'll be afforded the opportunity to continue to serve. There are other challenges as well. But I must say that some of the non-commissioned officers who went through the most trials this year taught me the most about perseverance as they demonstrated the utmost professionalism when faced with adversity. Another challenge my supply section and I took on was the assumption of eight separate property books and consolidation under the command. We also worked through some admin, admin challenges. When I first took command, I implemented the Army requirement of family care plans, even though we're a non-deploying unit. Shortly after, Sergeant Meza enacted her family care plan when she was selected for deployment to Honduras. And we must remember our own Chaplain Caviejo, who is even now deployed to Afghanistan. However, not everything this year was a challenge. We changed the company call sign to Guardians and instilled a sense of positive identity in some soldiers who felt none. We built strong bonds with civilian directorates within the garrison. We saw Private McDonald promoted to PV2, Private Roebuck promoted to PFC, Specialist O'Brien promoted to Sergeant, Sergeants Walliser and Riley promoted to Staff Sergeant, Staff Sergeant Quillen promoted to Sergeant First Class, and Major Orell promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Although I have to admit that someone in the headquarters section slips at least once a day and still calls him Major Orell. First on, I enjoyed foshing with, with Linda and Daniela and a shooting competition in Biden where I actually won third place for closest shot, by the way. We shared ride arm night with 44th ESB and wonderful, wonderful events with our Volsbach partners. First Sergeant was selected to be the act acting garrison command sergeant major, compelling Sergeant First Class Quillen to step up as the first sergeant for six months. But most importantly, we created a functioning team and began the process of really melding the company together into a single cohesive unit. In the end, we accomplished everything I told the first sergeant that I wanted to do. This brings me to the most important part of my speech, the thank yous. And I feel a bit like I'm at the Academy Awards and I have a lot more people to thank than I actually have time to do it. But I'm going to give it a shot. Thank you to the leaders of the garrison, Colonel Sines, Command Sergeants Major Dillingham, Berrios, and McCoy, Mrs. Eight, Lieutenant Colonel Strange, and Major O, I mean Lieutenant Colonel Laurel. I have never worked in an organization with such an amazing group of leaders. I have learned so much from all of you. Thank you to the soldiers and non-commissioned officers of the company. Your dedication to your comrades, your mission, and your nation is immeasurable. As I mentioned earlier, I was lucky enough to have two amazing first sergeants. Sergeant First Class Quillen, you have grown and blossomed this year. I'm so proud of you and can't wait to see where you go from here. First sergeant, you're the most loyal and caring person I've ever met. Don't ever change. I'm thankful to know that both of you will continue to care for our soldiers. Thank you to my family for coming all the way over from North Carolina to share this day with me today. And most importantly, my mini-me, Sabrina. You have been the most amazing, supporting daughter a mother could have ever asked for. You understood all the late nights and often Popeyes for dinner. I love you, baby. Andrew, 
I know you would do an amazing job continuing to lead this company. You have an extraordinary group of soldiers who I know will continue to support you and make you successful as they did for me. General Patton once said, the soldier is the army. No army is better than its soldiers. The soldier is also a citizen. In fact, the highest obligation and privilege of citizenship is that of bearing arms for one's country. This unit is remarkable because of the soldiers in it. The soldiers of HHC USAG Bavaria are the epitome of the American soldier. I have loved working with each and every one of you and will miss this time and most importantly, the people I had the honor of working with and serving alongside every day. Guardian 6, out.